You're looking at this other big story off the coast of North Carolina. Coast Guard crews from Florida have now joined in the search for the missing captain of the HMS Bounty. That ship took on water during Sandy and sunk roughly 90 miles off the coast of Hatteras early Monday morning. Now, the Coast Guard did rescue 14 Bounty sailors, but another crew member, Claudine Christian, died at the hospital last night. Tending your sides, Katie Collette spoke with the Coast Guard in Elizabeth City about the search for the captain. Katie, what did they have to say? Tom, if you take a look right here, you can see this C-130. That just got back from the search for the captain. Another one just left moments ago to join that search. Both of these are from Florida. Crew members tell me if they find the captain alive and well, they will bring him right back to the tarmac where I'm standing. But if they find him and he has any injuries, they will immediately fly him to a local hospital. Now take a look at this incredible rescue video released to us by the Coast Guard here in Elizabeth City. This is of that rescue Monday morning. 14 of the 16 crew members on board the HMS Bounty were able to make it onto two canopied life rafts. They were rescued from those rafts around 6.30 Monday morning. The Coast Guard says at the time of the rescue, they dealt with 40 mile per hour winds and 18 foot seas. The first survivor that we found, the only one that was happened to be in the water, he was in a, a survival suit and uh, pretty much just uh, laid out in, in the water. Being down there in those waves is more like uh, being in a washing machine. spokesman tells me it is up to one man, Captain Anthony Popiel, to decide if and when to suspend the search for Robin Walbridge. Some of the things he says the captain will consider Walbridge's age, how well he can swim, and the water temperature, which right now is in the 70s, which the Coast Guard considers a favorable temperature. The bounty crew declined our request for an interview, but just moments ago, I got off the phone with a spokesperson for the Red Cross who helped take care of a few of those members once they were rescued. Hear what he has to say about their condition, both mentally and physically, tonight beginning at 5. Tom? All right, we're looking forward to hearing from that. Katie Collette reporting live from Elizabeth City.